Welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and along with my wife, Patricia, we go camping with our two four-legged campers, Zoe and Maggie, who you've met in previous episodes. Now, according to a survey conducted by the Recreational Vehicle Industry Association, 61% of you bring your four-legged companions along camping with you too. And in uh, six months spent on the road with our dogs in 2018, we picked up on quite a few tips and tricks that we found useful for camping with our dogs, and we're gonna share those tips and tricks with you today on this episode of Grand Adventure. So stay tuned. Now in this episode, we'll share our own best practices for RV camping with dogs. Now at times in this video, we're going to present certain products that we use, and if we mention them, we'll put links in the description below so you can go get them for yourselves if you so desire. Now it's important for your dogs to get used to their new home in your RV. Remember, dogs are creatures of habit, and they really don't tolerate change very well. Spend some time in the RV with your dogs while it's still parked in your driveway before you head out on your first trip. Bring along items that are familiar to your dogs, like your bowls, your dog beds, maybe even a few toys. Uh, start small at first, and then gradually increase the time spent lounging together in your RV. Give the dogs their own little space in the rig, and before you know it, they'll be calling the rig home themselves in no time. Now, one big reason that we prefer boondocking as our mode of camping is for the freedom that it affords us with our dogs, off leash. It gives them the opportunity to enjoy camping as much as we do. However, that only works if the nearest neighbors are far enough away that there's no chance that Zoe and Maggie are going to wander into our neighbor's camps. Otherwise, they remain on leash, even while boondocking, for not everyone enjoys your dogs as much as you do. a different story. Campgrounds have rules and close neighbors. Before checking into a campground, check on their dog policies as some private RV parks even restrict certain breed types. Be sure to respect and observe leash rules, pick up after your dogs, and prevent excess barking. Never leave your dogs outside unattended in the campground. Some folks bring a, along a fenced enclosure for smaller dogs but some RV parks prohibit those as well. We use outdoor cable leads to restrain our dogs when we're in a campground, but you could also set up a dog zip line using 500 pound test paracord and some clips and carabiners. Now when our dogs are boondocking off leash at night, it can sometimes be hard to see them. That's why we have them wear some inexpensive lightweight headlamps around their neck, just like a collar. That way we can always see where they are in the dark. Both while traveling and while we're in camp, it's essential to keep an eye on temperatures or the potential for extreme weather. While traveling, 
If the temperatures are moderate, our dogs will ride in the enclosed carpeted bed of our pickup truck. But if temperatures are too high or too low, they'll ride in the climate controlled cab of the truck with us. We use a waterproof seat cover uh, to both protect our seats and to keep the dogs in the back seat of the truck. We found that most were not large enough to fully cover the rear bench seat of a full-size pickup. However, one exception is the extra large model that we found from a company called 4 Canines. Always keep your pets in the vehicle that you are riding in. Never have them ride in the uh, trailer while you're pulling the trailer down the highway. Not only is that unsafe, but the excessive road noise inside the trailer while it's traveling down the road is likely to frighten your pets. Now, wherever they're riding, we always make sure that they have an adequate supply of water available at all times. After try trying several ideas, we've stuck with a product called the Water Boy, which is a three-quart self-filling water bowl that's both easy to fill and spill-proof. It's also important to find time for exercise while traveling. In extremely remote areas, we'll look for a quiet dirt road where we can pull off and let the dogs run for a bit on open land. In busier areas, many roadside rest areas have enclosed dog runs. We'll also seek out dog parks and other dog-friendly attractions using a website called bringfido.com. That's a wonderful site. Uh, we found, uh, using this, we found both this uh, one-stop dog park where we could fill our water uh, in Wyoming. Uh, also found an elaborate park called Dogtown in southern Utah. Now while we usually bring the dogs with us everywhere while we go exploring, there are some places you're not able to do that. For example, national parks where dogs aren't permitted. On those occasions, we'll leave the dogs home in the rig by themselves for a few hours, but only in appropriate temperatures. If the weather's hot, we'll pick a spot with hookups so that way we can run the air conditioner. However, there are many things that can go wrong. Uh, the AC may stop working or the power may go out. Uh, it's a good idea to let campground staff or neighbors know and provide them with your mobile number in case of emergency. Uh, keep an eye on the skies and return to camp if weather moves in, particularly if your pet is afraid of thunderstorms. Lower window shades and turn on ventilation fans as appropriate to keep the temperatures inside the RV cooler. You can also remotely monitor conditions in your RV while you're away, although we admit that we haven't tried any of these solutions ourselves yet. There's the temp stick, which is a temperature and humidity sensor uh, that transmits data to your cell phone or your tablet while you're out and about. There are no monthly fees and the device runs on AA batteries, which allegedly last about a year. Uh, if you want to add live video, two-way talk, motion detection with uh, smart artificial intelligence that prevents false alerts, as well as an emergency siren, there's the Canary All-in-One which requires a monthly plan for service. Now, either of these options requires a source for Wi-Fi communication, be it campground, park Wi-Fi, or even an extra mobile device that you can leave behind in the rig for tethering, be it a smartphone or a Wi-Fi hotspot. One solution that doesn't require a separate device is the iSocket 3G, a temperature and AC power monitor that alerts you via text message if anything goes wrong. It has its own SIM card, and inexpensive prepaid SIM cards are available everywhere with no expiration and low text messaging costs. Now having two large dogs like ours means that we, we go through a lot of dog food. We keep theirs in an airtight plastic bin to not only keep their food fresh, but also to keep that dog food odor in and to keep critters out. Uh, ours holds up to 50 pounds of dog food. Now we make sure to make time for our dogs not only while traveling, but also while camping. We go to great lengths to find a body of water for them to go swimming, which is their favorite form of exercise.
Now we also take the dogs hiking whenever we can. Zoe has a dog pack so she can carry the dog's food and water on longer hikes. Uh, but even on a shorter hike, we make sure to carry with us a collapsible roughware bivy bowl uh, to share our own water with the dogs while we're hiking. Traveling with dogs also means making extra time for cleaning up, and I'm not just talking about poop bags. A few old towels and an outdoor shower on your rig are essential uh, for when your dogs get dirty, like that time in South Dakota when Zoe decided that rolling in fresh steaming cow pies was a good idea. We keep a spare set of grooming brushes in the RV and vacuum often uh, to pick up dog hair from our ever-shedding golden retriever. Uh, for that, a, a vacuum, a handheld vacuum with a rotating brush is uh, indispensable, uh, like the dirt devil that we use. Keep a dustpan and whisk broom on hand to be able to sweep up sand from the floor as often as you can. Now there are a number of things to make sure that you have along, including your dog's vaccination record and health record, as well as any prescription medication that your dogs need. Uh, always have them wear ID tags with your contact information and make sure that you have your dogs microchipped. Have some photos of the dogs readily available just in case the dogs get lost so that way you can share those photos with folks helping to find your dog. In case of a veterinary emergency, we've also put together an extensive first aid kit with gauze and cling wrap, peroxide, antibiotic ointment, and more. A preventative vaccine against rattlesnake bites is also available for your dogs if you happen to frequently camp or go hiking in areas where rattlesnakes are present. So we hope this helps you enjoy time spent camping with your own dogs. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. We premiere new outdoor adventure videos here on Grand Adventure every Wednesday. So if you're not yet one of our Grand Adventurers, hit that subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell. We'd be honored if you shared Grand Adventure with your friends and family. And until next time, please remember, life is nothing but a Grand Adventure. We'll see you next week.